What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. And today's video is sponsored by nobody because I have 200 subscribers. But if you want to change that, hit that subscribe button and like this video. Today's video is my running shoes. I'm an amateur high school athlete and my goal is to medal at state in the open 400 meter. I also do cross country. My PR was a 1747. It's nothing crazy, but you know, that's the big thing about running. It's all personal. So we're just gonna start with my sprint shoe. This is the one I just use. This is a beater shoe pretty much. I got it for like $60 at the Nike outlet. It's a Nike Pegasus 37. Pretty solid shoe. Got the little bump there. Pretty decent amount of cushion. It's a pretty bare bones shoe to be honest. Still got a decent amount of grip on these, so I'm actually pretty happy. These things have lasted me for a hot minute, but I don't really use them all that much for mileage because they're really only good for a couple, like a few miles at most. I just had a hard time. They messed. They weren't great for my Achilles tendon, but I've kind of just like fixed up form and stuff. And the it's a good shoe. I would definitely recommend it. Now we're going to my at the moment. It's my daily trainer. Um, I usually I'm a Clifton person. I mean not Clifton. Sorry. Hoka. I love the brand Hoka. I love the cushion. It's great on my knees, all the other stuff. But at the moment, my daily trainer is not Hoka, which is a shock for me because I've been using them since my freshman year of high school. We have this older pair of New Balance Fresh Films. Um, they have like a sock like around them, which I don't know. I actually really like it. It's a lot. As you can see, there's not very much... Uh, structure to it. It makes it very light, but they have really good cushion and it feels really good. Highly recommend them. This is an older model, so you're gonna if you're not probably not gonna be able to find these at any actual running shoe store. But New Balance, I highly recommend them. I have a lot of buddies that use them. The New Balance is great color too. Like the light blue and you're gonna see that in a trend because I have one more shoe left to show you and it's gonna follow that trend and it's my long run shoe. And let me show you what they are. We have the Hoka Bondi 8. It's a great shoe. An absolutely insane amount of heel foam. Um, pretty, some a little bit more structure than like my other trainers, but these things are just great for a lot of miles. Like if I wanted to go out and run eight or really just any road run, this is the one I'm taking. As you can see, it is a fatter shoe. It has a lot of width outside of like the actual toe box and it's really just like an insane shoe now for spikes i don't have them with me but for cross country and like my farther distances if i'm doing when i'm doing track i use the dragonflies by nike it's a pretty it's it's good it's popular for a reason it's really strong and then for sprints i use under armor i know under armor spikes and eh, it's fine trust me they're a good spike i've been using them since my freshman year um so yeah, uh, comment down below your times. I'd love to hear about them. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there faster than me. I know I'm not that fast, but you know, that's the thing about running. It's all like personal. Like I've grown from a 22 in the 5K down to a 17, into the 17s. I went from a 60 second 400 down to a 50 second 400. It's all about work and your personal times. So if you're slower than me, you're working at it. I'm proud of you. If you're faster than me, I wish I was as fast as you. So, yep, have a good rest of your day, everyone, and I'll see you.